Hello, I am Seamus Donahue of EVE University, and this is episode 23 of How to Survive EVE Online. Uh, for reference, it's been several hours since my last recording, uh, so there has been some progress on my skills. I'm going to throw in Galente Forget level 4, just so that I have something training in the skill cube, and I'm going to click Apply. We are going to get started on the first step of the military chain, so go to Neocom, Help, the Support tab, Show Career Agents. And right here is Military, Seville Aeron. Click the Start Conversation button and then close the Career window from in the background. Alright, there we go. Now he wants us to clear out some pirates from an asteroid belt. And he is going to give us a Gatling Rail 1 and some antimatter charges if we do it. So let's click Accept. And the game is going to talk to you about orbiting, or provide text for you to read about orbiting. Let's open the fitting window. I've got... oh, you know what? I don't need these anymore. Let me grab my actual weapons. Let me get a... you know what? An overdrive injector won't hurt. A little speed could be useful in a fight and a small armor repair. And let me put my extra antimatter on board. Shift, click, click and drag one weapon onto another. Let go of shift, drag the ammunition in, and I think I am ready. Let's undock. And let's get this thing out of the way. All right, right click, cache full of capsuleers, encounter, and warp to location. Warp drive active. Now, one of the things the game, the built-in game tutorial was trying to tell you was about the orbit command. You have a commands for approach, for warping to something, to dock or jump or activate an acceleration gate. We haven't, and we've also used lock target and look at, but we haven't looked at these two in the middle, orbit and keep at range. Orbit will tell your ship to try and go in circles around something at as best it can. Now recall that your blasters have an optimal of 500 and a fall off of 1500, so they work out about as far as two kilometers. So. Let's right-click this nearest enemy and orbit... Oh, I'll just go with the default 1000. Alright. We've told our ship to orbit. I'm gonna hit Alt-F1 to turn on the afterburner, just so that I close the distance. But I also have to remember my guns have a tracking radius of 365 milliradians per second. And you can keep an eye on your angular velocities up here. Remember, you have to be within two kilometers and at an angular velocity of less than 300 something or other milliradians per second in order for this thing to work. Left click the wreck. You know what? Let's stop. I did not mean to target lock it. Let's open the cargo, grab the civilian shield booster. Alright. Let's approach the next enemy, left-click this wreck, and unlock it. We don't need that locked. And let's control left click the others. I'm going to have to change my shortcut keys. You may sometimes find that your camera is doing odd things. If you left-click here, and then you just tap the Alt key, your camera now focuses on that enemy. That's the... Let me start shooting. That is... Alt is your shortcut for look at. At least that's the default shortcut. You can always go to the escape menu, the shortcuts tab, to change your shortcuts. We'll turn off the afterburner for a moment. Now, orbit is sometimes a good idea. 
if you know that the enemy's tracking speed is limited and your tracking speed is better, you definitely want to orbit the enemy then, because if you can go around the enemy in circles, then the enemy has a hard time trying to hit you. Right now, though, which would apply in our case since we're using blasters. Very good tracking speed, very bad range. For enemies this week, though, what I usually like to do is just approach, because if I'm too close, the enemy has its own preferred orbit range. Let me turn on the afterburner. The enemy has its own preferred orbit range, and if I'm closer than that orbit, it will first try to get directly away from me to open the distance and then resume its orbit. But if I'm moving fast enough that it can't open the distance, then it's never going to try to orbit. Which makes it an easy target. Da -da 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 -da. And I will turn off the afterburner. All right, so much for this bunch. I am going to right-click this wreck, bookmark the location, and I'm going to go dock up. And I will hit Control r to reload my weapons. Once I dock up in station, Docking I am going to turn in the mission, and then I'm going to switch to the Velator, which should still have the salvager modules attached, and then I'm going to warp back out to that bookmark. And let's see, I happen to remember I was working for Seville Aeron, but if you don't remember, just go to Neocom, Journal, look at the admission you accepted, right-click, start conversation, and you will talk to the appropriate agent. Complete the mission, and he will give you a weapon and some more small antimatter charges. And the game will tell you about a station service called a repair shop, which can repair the damage to your ships and modules. Your modules usually only take damage, however, if you've been using the thermodynamic skill to overheat them and get better performance out of them. But I digress. So there's a repair shop if you need to repair your ship and you don't have an armor repairer and a hull repairer and you can't just simply undock and run your repair modules yourself for free repairs. Uh, I am going to make active the Velator since that's where my salvagers are. Yes. And you know what? I'm going to right click an overdrive injector and fit to active ship and undock. And hopefully I will show you an example of some good salvage. But we'll see how the random number generator goes. Now I right click an empty space, go to my places, I've got three bookmarks, which one of these is it? Uh, I go Neocom, People and Places, the Places tab, and this is where my bookmarks are organized, and I can click the date header and sort these according to time. This is the most recent, so I'm going to right click on it and warp to location. Warp drive active. These others, well, these wrecks that they're bookmarking, they're probably not still there, so I am going to double left click each one and rename it a safe spot. What a safe spot is, I explain in a separate video, Introduction to Bookmarks. Uh, suffice it to say that you can keep records of where you've been by bookmarking each mission location. If you're going to bookmark a mission site afterwards, you're going to bookmark each room of the mission. Alright, here I am. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to run the salvage modules.
contained nothing of value. Let's approach the nearest wreck, target lock whichever wrecks we can get within targeting range, and once you are within 5 kilometers, activate your salvage modules. Alright, we got some salvage. Let's approach the next wreck and continue working on this. Now this is a damaged artificial neural network. Artificial neural networks preside over a Starship's various electronic subsystems, yada yada yada. This is a, an example of salvage materials. Just like you need minerals to make most kinds of Tech 1 modules and ships, you need salvaged materials to make rigs. And rigs are something like modules, except that once you've attached a rig to a ship, you cannot remove that rig except to destroy the rig. Right? So you could put a different rig in there if you wanted to, but you've got to sacrifice the old rig in order to do it. Right. Uh, different pieces of salvage have different values. If you view the market details, this damaged artificial neural network is only going for around 300 ISK per unit. It's not very much. There are examples of more Ultra valuable salvage, packing. particularly tripped power circuits, alloyed titanium bars, and armor plates. So salvage can be kind of hit or miss. Salvage was a good source of income for me in my early days of playing the game back in 2009. I still salvage all of my missions nowadays, simply because uh, it's less expensive for me to buy a Blueprint original to make Tech 1 rigs and make the rigs myself than it is to sell the salvage and buy the rigs. Docking permission requested. Anyway. That is salvaging, explained in more detail. In the next episode, we are going to cover the next step in the military chain. In the meantime, thank you for watching.